are back with part two of the video and it's going to be tips for beginners on point. Now, this is probably very beneficial for point beginners because when I started point, I did not know any of these things really, except of course my teacher did tell me some things, but I'm going to be teaching you all some of my best tips and tricks for a beginner on point. So let's start. Now, the alignment when you are on point is one of the main, main things when you are going up. So you do not want to be sickle or fishing when you are on point. Now, my teacher, immediately when I got my point shoes, she was like, you must not go on them until you're in my class because she wanted to teach me to be perfectly aligned on the point shoe. So what I want you to do is just to roll all the way up. Yep, just go up to point for me. Exactly like that, yep. So you are perfectly aligned. You're not sickling or rolling in, that's perfect. And that's how you wanna dance when you are in point shoes every time you do a point class. You hopefully it's a better angle for you all. As you can see, Alicia's perfect. She's not sickling inwards or outwards and she's perfectly aligned. So just now roll down for me. And as you can see there too, perfectly aligned. Really good. So I'm just gonna demonstrate the bad things. So that's obviously not what you want and you do not wanna be like this at all. And also in the second, this is the main area people sickle. They love, people love to go like that on the box. So when you do do second, you have to be very careful not to do that. And that takes a lot of time and experience with that as well. You won't be able to perfectly be straight up and down in second, it takes time. So if you wanna try that, just holding two hands at the bar and rolling up. Yeah, exactly. If you wanna be perfectly, and just go down again. Now, also, in second, um, I find when you go up on point, you want to bring your feet in a little bit closer in, so when you go up on point, it's the perfect distance. So yeah, just bring them in a tiny bit more, just, yep, yeah, and now roll up to second. Perfect. And as you can see, it's really nice. So now what I want you to do is plie over. Yes. And you want to teach yourself to be perfectly turned out. And now slowly straighten your knees as much as you can. Yes, that's exactly right. And now roll down again. Perfect. Now doing this at home or whenever you have time to practice is very good as well to teach yourself to be perfectly aligned. Yeah. Yeah. So just repetitions of these, really, really trying hard to keep turned out and also to keep perfectly aligned as well. Before we start the next tip, I also wanted to mention that when you are first starting out on point, you really wanna create good habits. So like I said with the sickling, whenever you do do point, you wanna really just keep in mind not to sickle, just to keep the nice alignment. And also the next tip I'm going to talk about is rolling through the feet. Getting a good habit of lifting when rolling down is very important. So face the bar for me. So what we're going to do, you can do this again as many times as you want when you're practicing. So all I want you to do is go up to point, all the way up. And now this is the hardest bit. I want you to lift as much as you can when you come up point. So really go through each metatarsal exactly like that. You have to get I can't even do it, it's that hard. <laughs> you have to get this little section when you come down. And I must admit, it is a lot harder doing that when your shoes are very soft. But getting that initial lift when coming down is very important. And making a good habit straight away, that will set you up to being able to dance nicely on point for your career. So yes, try that again for me. So going all the way up to the top, yeah. And then you wanna lift, yes, and then down, good, yeah. So being able to lift up from point and down is very, very important when you are first starting at a point. So Alicia, what have you done already in class? Have you done any center work at all yet? Well, I've done center work yep. and I've done <laughs> some of nice. center with my okay. teacher. Cool. And yesterday I did uh -huh. hops. 
Oh, on a little oh, bit in nice. the center. Oh, in the center as well? Yeah. Oh my god, gosh. <laughs> I did not do that at all when I started. That's really good, good. So then the other tip I have for when you are in points doing it in the center is to not be afraid. So at first you should, you know, obviously be very cautious when you are in the center, but maybe after a little while you might still be a little bit scared of doing new things. Now, my um, personal experience is not to be scared when you do do a turn. Have you started doing turns yet in the center? No, no, good, yeah. That's good, you don't want to be doing that yet. But when you do start doing turns, I definitely suggest not to be scared. Because when you are scared going into a turn, you actually freeze up and you go backwards a little bit, I find. So you want to be nice and relaxed and you want to keep that core nice and tight and just go for the turn and land. So that's a little tip for when you start doing turns. <laughs> Don't be scared because if you do scared, it just will not work out. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So just keep on learning your center. Just like that. Good. Yeah, so over time you'll get better and better. So yeah, make sure when you are doing that, really keep that core tight and just really, yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. And you can even just let go of the bar and put it back on just quickly. It doesn't have to be fast at all. Good. <laughs> so as Alicia was telling me, she hasn't done too much in the center. She's done a couple of chapeaus and also you've done bar work. Now, another question. Have you done lots of one-legged things on the bar? I've done relevés. You have? With one leg? Good. Perfect. When you are not as advanced with app point shoes, I really suggest you to be very careful when you start to learn on one leg. You do not want to sprain yourself. Just be really careful. So yeah, doing one leg things, going on one leg, balancing, very good to work on. And also transfers, you can do that a lot. Just going to one side and then the other side. This is good to just teach yourself where your balance should be when you are learning one legged things. And you can even do this in a little coupe <laughs> can even do it in a coup de pied and then if you can yes that's it and really lean forward yeah perfect and then slide back down good yes yeah and go back to the coup de pied again just gonna do some little tips here so when you go up make sure you think of under here and you want to keep that hip down so lift there keep that down yes and try again with the sickling. Get, teach yourself a good habit and make that foot nice and fish. So go into PP here one more time and just really, yes, that's it. And as much turn as you can. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> good. <laughs> that is it, guys. Teaching yourself good habits, it's not sickling. Yes. <laughs> Let's go on to tongues. Another tip I want to teach you guys. So when you are not in point shoes, you really want to learn the correct way to do a tondu. So then when you put your point shoes on, you're able to make your foot really nice and look good. And I want you to tondu to Devon for me. Yes, exactly like that. Just rolling out. Yeah. Good. So there we go. Good tondu. So now what you want to think of when you are in point shoes especially is to really work the feet. Now, these are a little bit hard, so I know your foot might not look as good as if they were soft and, you know, broken in. You want to, again, lift that sickle up and really, really work the feet when you are going just before that point. So add again, yes, and really point, point, point. And then when you come down again, use that demi point. Yes, that is it. You really want to work your feet when you are doing tondus and even any type of rises as well. Just really working them. So you really want to work that demi point, just like that. And you do not want to sickle, you want to keep that nice and straight. And another thing I want to teach you guys too, I've actually recently just kind of started to learn this. I'm a little bit of a cheater when I do tondus with point shoes on. When I'm especially in the center, I like to push on that shoe a bit so it makes it look better. Do not do that at all. Teach yourself good habits and really lift away from 
the shoe, don't sink into it. Not good because when you are then going to a relevant or something, your weight will be off and you won't be able to do it. So really teach yourself to be perfectly on your leg, just like that. And even in the wrong and area. Don't sink, lift. Go through the demi points. You really want to work your metatarsals and go down again, back to first. Perfect. So that is exactly what we want. So then when you are in point shoes, you'll be able to get that nice pointed foot. Now, if you are not able to get this um, movement when you are in a tondu, I'm going to teach you some exercises to improve your metatarsals. Because like I've been saying the whole video, it's so important to be able to mold your feet, being able to really lengthen and go through demi point in every uh, movement you do on points. All right, so we are going on to the exercise portion of the video. The first exercise is going to be with a theraband. So what I want you to do is get one of your feet out. Yep, exactly like that. And then just bring it up like you do. And all I want to get you to do is roll throughs. So you want to pull that pyramid up tight, yep, and then roll through the feet. This is going to strengthen your metatarsals and give you that nice arch foot when you are doing tondus like I showed before. So what stroke theraband do you recommend? Uh, good question. So I recommend for you um, probably a harder strength because you are very advanced with your ballet training. If you are not very advanced, I definitely think something um, lighter and also because you already have really good articulation in your feet definitely something harder even this strength this i think this therapy is actually one of the hardest strengths you can get so yeah one of these is really good if you don't have that flexibility in your metatarsals definitely something less um strong so yeah good question that's good and how many times should i do Good question again. <laughs> um, for these TheraBend roll throughs, I suggest around 10 to 20, just as many as you need until it starts to feel activated and worked. And also, just when you roll down, do that for me, you can then also start to um, wing your foot too. This is good to um, strengthen the wing. So then when you go on point, you're not sickling and doing any crazy things. So yeah, so roll throughs. And again, you can do that like 10 times as much as you need. When you did the full um, roll throughs, you can even as well do it with single toes to really activate those toes. I'll quickly show you. It's very hard to do and I don't expect you to do it um, straight away. I can't even do it, to be honest. Um, what you want to do is get one foot. You want to bring that up and you want to start um, just bringing that down like that. And what you want to do when you are like this, you want to keep these toes really um, just still and you do not want these to move as well. So you want to just go like that. It's very hard to do. And yeah, and you can do that on all of your toes. <laughs> yes. And this is again great for working those toes. So would you do that about 10 times as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, as many times as you need until it feels good. Yeah. Similar to with the TheraBand, what you want to do, it's called piano, and with your metatarsals, you want to individually put them on the ground. So pinky all the way through, yes. Oh my God, you're so good at this. <laughs> I am so bad. I need to do this myself more. Pinky, wow, she is better than me. <laughs> that is quality work there. Yep, and I had to do it before I went on point. Oh, did you? Well, there we go. She knows her exercises already. That's so good. Yeah. And do you do from the toe as well? Like big toe as well? Not really, but yeah. just as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's another great exercise to do. You obviously know it already. So good. So this is just going to really work the muscles on both sides. So again, the sickling and fishing. So what you want to do is push against my hand as hard as you can with a pointed foot. Perfect. And then just release and go back to normal position. Yeah, exactly like that. And again, push and release. Yeah, perfect. And again, you can do this 10 times as much as you need and yes and then also going inwards as well this is an important muscle to work as well 
because you want to work that sickle because if it's not um, strong you can like roll it and it's from your ankle it's not good so you want to have both sides very strong so doing both of those so yeah you can like sickle as much as you want yeah go for it go for gold yes there we go and release and now let's go the other way and push good that's really strong okay so the final exercise this is the most important exercise you must do this every day i do my calf rises every day and it really helps with stability in your ankle your calves your strength and it will, it will really help you to be able to have more stamina when you are doing lots of relevés so then when you do a million relevés you won't get tired and that's very important i really suffer from um calf issues i find rises are the most important thing to do the point so let's show you you can do many various different types of calf rises um, i love doing simple parallel rises up and down do you do calf rises at ballet at all like i do it in the morning you do it in the morning yeah. okay do you have like a particular number you do yes yeah how many is that um 16. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's good. Yeah. So 16 for you beginners out there is a perfect number to start at. And once you get really good at that, you then can increase it, do maybe one extra each day. And then also single legs, very good as well. So just one leg, calf rises. And these are the ones I do. Now you're supposed to be able to do 32 each day, but um, on one leg, but um, I'm not good at it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, calf rises are amazing. Um, I also wanted to just teach you this calf rise um, thing that I do every day at ballet because it's really good. In first, so we're gonna go plie, stretch, rise, lower, plie, stretch, rise, lower, plie, stretch, plie, stretch, and up, and up, and up, one more, and up. And then we just repeat that. So, plie, stretch, rise, lower, plie, stretch, rise, lower, plie, rise, plie, rise, and we do four rises, two, three, four, good. We're gonna do is then 16 fast rises double time. So, let's start, and one, two, for being in these videos. I'm so glad you came and took this video. Yeah, you That's so good. All right, guys, so I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.